Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruise for YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today I am doing if I only could keep 10 eyeshadow palettes. I did this in February last year and this was created by my friend Annette. I will leave her down in the description and it is if I could only keep 10 palettes from my collection, which palette should I keep? And first off, I was like, this is so easy. So starting to pick palettes, and I was like up to 15, and then it maybe wasn't that easy that I wanted it to be, but I think I narrowed it down to 10. And I think I would have everything that I need now. I don't know. I've gone through this pile so many times. I think I'm just going to go with this. And shocker, my one of my, Maybe my absolute favorite palette, the secret palette from Nabla, didn't make a cut. It did not. And I think that I am set. And I don't have any of the palettes that I had in my video that I did last. It is one thing that I think I will miss if I would only keep these 10, but I can't have everything. So I think we just get started. And I'm going to start with the most boring thing maybe, the neutral palette that I would keep. First I took the secret palette, but then I actually changed my mind and took the side by side that is also from Nabla. This is a little bit more of a cold tone neutral palette and I think I have everything I need in this one. I have used this, I did a first impression and then I have used it outside of YouTube maybe four or five times. And I really do like it. I think it's a good palette and it is a lot of deeper shades, lighter shades, and it is a good mix with shimmers and mattes. And I really like the quality of this one. So this is the neutral palette I would keep. Even though I love the secret palette, but I couldn't made, make space for it. I'm sorry, secret palette. I still love you. So this is the neutral palette that I would keep. Am I start to regret my choices? Maybe a little bit. Then I also wanted some, if you know me, you know that I love this, the grunge things, and I have more than one grunge palette. Actually, I think one of these palettes I had, okay, shit the same. <laughs> I would keep the Sci-Fi Green by Kaleidos. This is one of my absolute two favorite shimmers in like grunge green it's these two yeah of course it has a really good black and this mustard i love it as well so this one i would keep because of these two shimmers because they are really like metallic really opaque and just looks amazing on the eye and i love both of them one is more of a little bit of gold and the other one is dirty green one so I need that in my life first. <laughs> in my first pick this wasn't with me when I did take out the palettes but then I was like I'm going to miss dirty greens so yeah I would keep the sci-fi green. And then I would also want some red shades. <laughs> I realized even though I love red eyeshadow I haven't got like a palette that is super red but I took this one, maybe I should change it now. Can we just hold up a little minute? No. No, 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 no. I'm keeping this as my red palette. And this is the waiting room palette from Melt. And uh, it looks like this. And when I have talked about this, I have always said that I'm not super thrilled about like these grays down here. But the reds in the top row are really really good and this shimmer is such an amazing red shimmer so I wanted something red and I think this is this will cover my red needs that I have that isn't in any of the other palettes so this will be my red palette I could actually skip those <laughs> down here because it's not my thing but this will be the red palette and it actually took a while before I like find this palette. I was like opening a lot of palettes and realizing it's just one red in these but this one it has the reds that I need. And if we're going to green and blue, last time I took... Um, 
Oceanic from Ace Boutet. I actually changed my mind and I'm going to take Whale Song from Menagerie instead. And no like special reason for that, but I just love kelp and plankton in this palette. They are grungy, they are cool, I love them. And also like this fluke and pearl are amazing shimmers and the dark blues are really good as well. So that's why I picked this. I still love the Oceanic more than this, I think. Yeah, I do. But I don't want to miss out on kelp and plankton because they just, they're so, so cool. And this is going super fast. I think I said that in my first video as well. Okay, and then we're going in to a collab palette. And I have more than one collab palette as 10 palettes and <laughs> I don't know what I, why that happened. I just love those palettes. So I would keep It's Freaking Bats by Betty Jean and, and Shroud. Maybe this doesn't come as a surprise. I love Betty Jean's style and she inspires me a lot. So of course, a palette that she has done with things that she loves, I will also love. I love the shimmers in this one. They are amazing and this shade is so so good. Shroud, I think they have one of my absolute favorite formulas actually when it comes to shimmer and mattes. They are really like strong mattes, very pigmented. And especially this, I love this shimmer. Of course, it's a cool green shimmer, but this zero shimmer, it is, I did free looks one palette. I think it was in that video I did it and I used this zero, zero on a lot of my eyelid and it is just such, such an amazing shade. It is such, just such a cool shade. And I really, really love it and I have to take it off my hand or I'm going to have eyeshadow everywhere. And also the other shimmers are so, so good. The Sam is good, the Grim is good, and uh, this purple one. So this I wouldn't... I, I, I want this. I also want some orange. I love orange eyeshadow. I think orange is my favorite when it comes to eyeshadow. And I took the Sweet Shop BH Cosmetics Orange Sorbet. I have the orange you're glad, but I actually like this more as an orange palette. It looks like this. And the shimmers in this palette is amazing. I was blown away when I used these Sweet Shop palettes for the first time last summer. I can leave that super long video up here. It is over an hour. And I just love this palette. The shimmers are amazing, the mattes are amazing, and it is a pretty cheap palette because they are a drugstore brand and I think I have all the oranges I need, both shimmers and matte. And I like the formula so much more in this one than in the orange blood palette. Then we're coming in to another collab palette and it is the Kaleidos and Club Nebula that Anilke Nykvist did with Kaleidos. It looks like this. This is one of my favorite palettes I have in my collection. I think you know that. I have used this quite a lot. I love it. This is my favorite palette from Kaleidos. I think it is an amazing mix with light and deeper shades and also like some duochromes and some toppers. I just love this and I know I could do a neutral look, a super colorful look, a super deep look with this and I just think this is amazing. I would love if Kaleidos would have this as a normal palette in the collection and a, not going to be a, unavailable. <laughs> And not going to be a limited edition, but it is a collab palette and they are 
limited edition but yeah it is a will keep because I think it is amazing it's so easy to do looks with it and I love Kaleidos formula okay I thought I was going to have have more things to say about palettes but apparently not I have three palettes left and when I was looking through these palettes I was like okay I'm missing some pinks and pink is maybe not my absolute favorite color but I love this palette and it's the Scarlet Dusk from Ace Boutet. I love the pinks. It's not super pink this palette I know but it has some pinks down here and it has some deeper ones and it also has some orange shades and I think the formula in this palette is super super good. I think this might be my favorite palette from Ace Boutet or Oceanic or I don't know. I have a hard time to decide that but I really really love this palette. I think the formula on this palette is just amazing. It is such a good palette and the shimmers are really good and I think it's just, it's just a really good palette and I think this is like all. Without the palette I can complete like having a pink look if I would want it. I never know if I would want it. The second to last palette is a grungy palette. It has some amazing shimmers and it is the Arcana palette from Shroud. This I had the last time I think and this is just the shimmers in this palette I think are the most amazing shimmers I have ever tried. Maybe I can swatch some for you but they are so so creamy. Like do you see this? They are just super 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 good and they are just amazing these shimmers and I love me a grungy palette and this is super grungy. Yeah, the shimmers is... I don't want to live without them. And okay, the last palette is also a collab palette and why I decided to keep this is because it has some bright and fun colors, it has a shimmer that I love, that <laughs> is the Serenity palette from Menadre together with a net makeup corner. And it looks like this. I did a free looks one palette, I had a really fun time playing with this palette and this has a little bit of every everything that I can like complete without the palette. It has some blue, if I would miss that. It has some greens, it has some purple, a bright pink and it has this orange shimmer and this shimmery yellow and I think this is a really good palette for me if I only would keep these 10 palettes I think I would come the Jesus fucking Christ if I only would keep 10 palettes I think this can be a really really good complementary palette to the other palettes and um, I don't know what more to say <laughs> I think this is really good palette it's a fun color story and it has a little bit of everything when it comes to color and i think i need it if this would be the only 10 palettes that i would save so yeah that was all for this video it went super fast but like i don't know what more to say about the palettes i hope and pray for this to never happen but i think i would be able to do all the looks i want if I would keep this palette. I can't like come up with any look that I couldn't do. So I think I made good choices. And that it is hard. So yeah, I really hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!